today is going to be a somewhat more efficient video. There's currently a massive thunderstorm. I think I saw lightning a minute ago. So I'm going to try and speak a little bit louder to make up for any rain sounds that you might hear. Hopefully you guys just consider it as kind of like nice ASMR sounds. But this is the only time I can get this video up for today. So please bear with me. And also apologies if the lighting is a little bit dark and my camera's on low battery. So I'm really just trying to get this video done for you guys. I do have all my notes on my phone, so hopefully I don't ramble. But yeah, let's get started. And please do thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoy these kind of videos, if you want me to continue with the manifestation topic, which I'm getting the sense that you guys do. And I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, if that's something you're interested in. It's all the information is on my Instagram page, LOA Coaching, linked below. Or you can just email me, um, you know, leave a comment below and I'll get in touch with you and kind of give you guys the information on where to find more details, pricing and everything. So do consider that if you want to. So getting started, this is going to be somewhat of a rant, kind of like the motivational SP rant I already did. And also just a mix of advice and ex learning from experience my own trial and error and also things that I've seen from other people. So first point is to note that this is kind of what I already spoke about, but your subconscious mind doesn't understand logic. Your subconscious mind literally cannot decipher, you know, what is logical, what is illogical. If you start thinking and affirming that you have blue hair, once it gets into your subconscious mind, it cannot be like, it doesn't have the skill of reasoning. Like there's no reasoning, logic, rationality. It will be like, okay, we have blue hair. And then guess what? Something will happen to your hair to make it blue. So your subconscious mind literally cannot deny any of your affirmations. So whatever logical thoughts your your conscious mind is creating those logical thoughts and blockages and being like, well, he doesn't live in my country or my boss gave me a bad review last week, whatever, you know, whatever thoughts are stopping you from getting your manifestation, they're literally irrelevant. The logic doesn't matter. Yes, it makes sense to us as humans and in society. And when we apply, you know, our intelligence and reasoning, it does make sense. It's like, yeah, it does seem unrealistic because he said this or she did that. But it doesn't matter. When it comes to manifestation, you know, as long as your subconscious mind accepts it, it has to become true. It has to become fact. Nothing can stop you getting your manifestation. So really just ignore the logic. And in, in terms of actual manifestation and the way law of assumption works to bring you what you want, it's perfect. The process is perfect. That's why a lot of coaches will be like, trust the process. Don't question how it will happen. It's true because you can never predict exactly, you can be affirming for a specific outcome, but you can never predict exactly how your manifestation will come to you, whether it's a person, you know, a relationship with your SP or a job promotion, tangible or intangible, whatever your manifestation is, it has to come to you. It will always be perfect. It will overcome the hurdles and illogical blockages that are in your way, like your SP not blocking you on everything and living in a different country. Those things will be reversed and changed for you to get what you want. So please don't doubt it, don't question it, don't try and apply your logical thoughts or doubts and be like, but if this and this is the case and if my SP said this, then how can it happen? Or just feeling doubt because you feel like all these that you have a long list of reasons why it won't work, rip it up, get rid of it because it's completely irrelevant to law of assumption. Manifestation itself is kind of beyond our understanding. Like we will never truly know or understand in like a hundred percent capacity how it works, why certain things happen, what specific exact moments or experiences led to our manifestation coming to us. You might hear from your SP like, oh yeah, like during the three months we didn't talk, I thought about you every day. But you won't get a like breakdown of like, oh, and I had this sudden thought and memory of us, which um, made me want to go on your Instagram. And then it made me like f start feeling romantic feelings for you again. Like you're not going to get a full breakdown of everything, but just trust that it is all happening perfectly the way it's supposed to. You don't need to figure out the when, the how, why, who. All you need to do is persist, 
trust, be as relaxed as you can, have as much faith and belief in the process as you possibly can, and just keep going with everything I advise you, with everything Sammy Ingram advises, because I know most people probably came from her, or whatever coach you watch, whatever books you read to learn about the law, apply those techniques and advice, and that's all you need to do. You don't need to figure out the logic or work out how it will happen or do things in your 3D reality to get rid of those logical hurdles. You don't need to do any of that because it will all resolve itself. My next point is to help you guys believe and have faith because watching this video probably isn't going to be enough for you to suddenly have that kind of switch flipped in your mind and be like, yes, I totally believe, like I totally get it. You know, for some people, hopefully this video does inspire you enough, but a lot of times you'll maybe need to look into it more, have more personal experience, insight into it. So look to other people, whether it's YouTube coaches, YouTube videos of people talking about their manifestations, success stories, you know, there's loads of groups online where you can look to that. So definitely look into that. I have my own success story videos of really illogical, weird things. So you can watch my videos, anybody's. Just use that to prove to yourself that, okay, it seems illogical, it seems impossible, but it's not. Because look, Alexa got this, this coach got this, this person on Reddit got this. There's a lot on Reddit, by the way, if you want to look into that. So look at how other people have manifested either exactly what you're manifesting or something really, really crazy. And it will help you realize that actually the logic is irrelevant. Whatever your circumstances are, they are irrelevant because it will always come to you if you persist. And... Another point to kind of consider is that it's not actually a positive thing to kind of think logically and rationally, especially, well, in relation to your manifestation. Obviously in life, you should be thinking logically and responsibly, but in terms of your manifestations, when you're manifesting and affirming, you kind of are still holding on to a limiting belief. If you cannot let go of all the circumstances and doubt, it's really, a limiting belief that's holding you back and probably the reason why you don't have your you know manifestation right now why it hasn't happened for months you, you really need to let go of it because it's holding you back it's probably the main thing like holding on to that logic and circumstances is the only thing holding you back from your end result because instead of living from the end you're kind of holding on to what has been happening in the past and currently when you don't have your manifestation. Just remember that when it comes to people, they don't have free will. So again, whatever logic you think about your SP, your mom, your friend, your boss, like whoever, whoever is relevant to your manifestation, it doesn't matter because they don't have free will. So it really doesn't matter what they say, what they do or what they want. Like whatever assumptions you've created in your own mind about, but this person definitely wants this and they definitely want that other person. They don't want to date me because I can tell the way they look at that other girl, like they want her. It doesn't matter. Even if that is true, even if you're literally seeing it in front of your eyes and your SP is kissing another girl in front of you, you hear him say, I love you to her, it doesn't matter. The next morning, if you persist by the next morning, it could literally change. He could have broken up with her the next morning. You need to persist and ignore it and stop applying logic. It does not matter what your conscious mind is telling you. It doesn't matter if it's telling you, but let's loop this bad memory of what your SP said to you last week that proves he's not conformed. It doesn't matter. Persist because they have to change. People do not have free will. I don't have free will in your reality. You don't have free will in my reality as, as my viewers. Whatever I assume about my viewers has to show up in my reality, right? It's literally applied to anyone that you experience anything with in your reality, in your life. So just remember that when it comes to people, stop applying the circumstances of, that are happening with your SP. Because on my TikTok particularly, I have a lot of questions and comments, and this is what inspired this video, of people saying like, oh, but you know, my SP hasn't talked to me in three weeks, and like, oh, he started dating this other girl, and I want to give up, and all this stuff. So literally, they have to conform eventually, and I want to read a couple of, I want to go over a couple comments. This one specific girl had like, tons of limiting beliefs and negative comments to make but I just want to touch on what she was saying because I have seen this come up a bit in my comments and explain to you guys why this mindset is not correct when you want to manifest so she's basically saying that she doesn't think her SP wants somebody else but that she knows that he wants freedom and options 
and that she's been persisting but she as you can see she's already created these logical assumptions because of she's probably gone you know point a point b point c to, as evidence of why he wants someone else why he wants freedom why he wants options of dating other people instead of persisting in the end result this girl has literally questioned her whole manifestation and said you know my sp maybe wants someone else uh, my SP doesn't want to commit just to me. That's the essence of what she's implying. And as subtle as it may be, it's, you know, causing her to apply this logic and reasoning and 3D evidence as to why she's not getting what she wants and why her SP most probably won't conform. And then she mentioned how he kind of said what she wanted to hear, but then the actions were of the opposite. And that, yeah, it just shows that you literally cannot look to the 3D reality unless it's showing you what you want. You have to ignore it. You have to focus on the end result. Focus on your affirmations. Go internally. Focus in your mind. Visualize in your mind. That's what's real. So please just don't apply logic. Don't look at circumstances. Don't type out your circumstances in comments. I mean, if I'm getting coaching with someone, I want to hear about the circumstances once at the beginning so I understand where your limiting beliefs are, what your experiences so far are, so that we can avoid that going forward. But please don't comment on manifestation coaching videos, don't message your friends, don't, don't go around constantly repeating this negative old story about my SP didn't text me for three weeks and he's d dating another girl and you know um, I have been persisting but the, clearly manifestation doesn't work because he's with another girl right now. No, you, clearly that's showing your assumptions are still kind of based in something negative and you need to persist in the end result. You need to affirm harder. You need to flip your thoughts harder. So hopefully this video made sense. Like I said, it was a bit of a rant. Um, I just want to use a couple examples and of things I've seen, things I've experienced and just help you guys understand that the logical, rational, normal thoughts that maybe any other normal person who isn't into manifestation would think is irrelevant. It's just going to hold you back from your manifestation. So please be irrational in your manifestations. Tell yourself, of course he loves me. Like he texts me all day long. Look at all these texts I have from him. Even if you're looking at a blank screen, you can tell yourself that. So hopefully you guys learned something from this. If you did, please thumbs up and subscribe. I'll definitely have more videos. Probably um, in two days will be the next manifestation video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.